Cam, this is your third Kona Championships. Yeah. And you seem to just get quicker and quicker every year. Why, why do you think that's that way? Well, I, I'd probably have to question my line of profession. You know, if I wasn't able to uh, continue to improve, but as you know, once you start, you know, getting towards where your maximum might be, those those improvements become become smaller. And um, you know, the first year I was 17, last year I was nine. So we'll find out next week. This improvement hasn't started just in the last few years. You've been pushing since you're in your t teenager in multiple different sports to get to this point. Like you've been building this engine for a long time. Yeah. I and think, I think that's an important part for people to know. Yeah, that's one thing that as people don't really realize. It's the work, it's not the work I've done in the last year, the last six months. It's what I was doing when I was 15, 16, when no one would, was, was forcing me to do anything. Mm -hmm. Coming back for your third year, what pushes you to test, to see what you can achieve? What pushes you to like come back and like prove you're here to, you're, you mean business, you're here for the win. Well, the thing I've always had as a kid is dreamt of being winning on the biggest stage. That fundamental desire to, to, to go to a, one of the biggest races on the planet and try and be the man mm -hmm. has been something that's been driving me since I was probably four or five years, as long as I can remember. To be here, you know, in Kona and be considered as someone who's a potential chance to, to win the race I mean, man, that's just a massive honor. And, and that's something that I have, don't want to let up. I don't want to give that up, you know? I mean, I just want to give myself every chance to do the best race I can possibly do and, um, and see if I can win. Yeah, the big, the key thing for me with PR Lotion is the, the bike car, but, and I'm the kid that when I was 14 or 15, I was in the kitchen stealing mum's bike carb and mixing it with whatever I could mix it with to make it palatable and I gotta say when the cream came along I thought it was a massive gimmick. I thought this is bogus. I mean guys I've been trying this stuff for years. There's no way you can be that simple. I realized that uh, this stuff really works. Kona is a big moment for you but that next year was bright as well. So I would love to hear a little bit about you know what happens after Kona. I know I'm jumping the gun a little yeah. bit because it hasn't happened yet. No, but, but it's, it's, it's exciting and I raced an Ironman two weeks ago in Italy and what racing that race did was it actually gave me um, certainty that I'd have qualification for Kona. Um, so I've got a, already got a slot for Kona next year. Uh, even if I'm to win on Saturday, I've already raced the race to validate that. So I don't have to do another Ironman between now and Kona next year which is pretty amazing position to be in. Wow. Um, and when it's been an Olympic year, uh, and I grew up as a kid, as I said, dreaming of being an Olympian in every different sport. And so, of course, I've been in rowing. Uh, triathlon is an Olympic sport, and uh, that's something that I want to have a look at to see if I'm capable of qualifying for the Games. For me, family is, is Fallon and, uh, and Olive, and we, we obviously live in Europe, but we always travel together. And, um, and I don't even have to think about so many things because, apart from what I'm doing, because of the way that Fallon picks up the slack in every other aspect of life. Like, my 100% focus is, is on this sport. You know, when you can't go out for dinner or you just want to have a nap in the afternoon or we can't go on that holiday or we can't do this. You know, Fallon and Olive, of course, neither of them complain or whatever. I mean, we've we've learnt to make this our life and uh, we've learnt to enjoy it as much as we can. So, we, you know, we stay in places like this and, uh, yeah, it doesn't feel like a... It doesn't feel like a huge amount of sacrifice, but, but of course, most people would look at it that way, but for us, this is this is just how we roll, and uh, and that is that is massive yeah, to have that support. You know, it's um, yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's it's obviously the reason that uh, things have gone as smoothly as they have over the past few years. You've been with Amp Human virtually from the beginning, and it is an honor for the team uh, to have you a part of it, and we just can't thank you, Fallon, and all of enough. So. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it takes a family, and then you're you're a big part of it. So yeah, thanks. And Thank that's you, Cam. that's one reason why we like you guys because yeah, uh, yeah we, as you say, there's not many of us, but um, it's all about the good people.